Alrighty, hey YouTube, it's Retro Sandman uh, with a tutorial. Uh, Cinema 4D tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, some simple 3D glossy text um, that most people use. As you can see in uh, my little background here, it is uh, kind of blue on the on the inside of it, and on the outside it goes um, to white like that. It's a pretty it's a, what a lot of people use on their backgrounds. Uh, also on mine, if you check mine out, you can see it. Um, before I start, I wanted to say thank you again for the 100 subscribers, and I hope you guys, whoever's watching this video, subscribes to me for more uh, awesome videos. <clears throat> so if you open up uh, Cinema 4D, uh, go up to MoGraph and uh, Text Object, uh, it'll insert a basic text for us that says text. We're going to come down to our panel um, in the Object tab, and we're going to change the text to whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to Retro. And uh, if you come right underneath that, um, choose Font, and... Uh, choose whatever you want for your font. I'm going to choose uh, Batman. Batman looks pretty uh, pretty sweet right now. <coughs> so we got our uh, basic text here. Um, now it's pretty boring so uh, what we're going to do, we are going to uh, select this text object, uh, come over and uh, we're in the object tab still. We're going to change the depth of it to 100. That'll make it go back more like that. And uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, copy and paste it. So we're going to come up here to our little layers. Uh, we're going to go to, make sure you have it uh, selected. Go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. And ta-da, we have a new uh, another one. You just can't see it. Um, uh, so then make sure you have Text Object 1 selected. Come down to the depth of that and change it to 50. And then we're going to kind of zoom over it. And as you can see, this white line, we're going to move that um, so it's kind of centered. Um, like that. And then we're going to go to uh, make sure you have text object 1 still selected. Go to the caps tab. Change the start to fill it cap and the end to fill it cap. And as you can see now, uh, that's my phone. Uh, if you can see now, as you can see now, I mean, uh, we kind of have a, a kind of a 3D ish thingy going on here. Uh, looks really neat. Um, so now what we're going to do, we're going to add some color because it's kind of boring, you know, if you render it out. It's got no taste whatsoever. So we're going to come down to our little textures area, and we're going to double click, um, so we can add a texture and then texture, and then double click again. So we, now we have two blank textures down here. Uh, double click the first one, change the color of it, whatever you'd like. I'm going to change mine to blue because I freaking love blue. And then we're going to put a luminance on there. So check the luminance and change the color of that to the same blue. Ta-da! And then we're going to put a reflection on this. So check the reflection. Uh, change the brightness down to 20 because um, you don't want it at 100%. It looks like crap. Uh, we're going to come down to the texture. Change that to uh, Fresnel. I, I think that's how you say it. I don't care what you guys say. That's how I'm saying it. Um, and then change that down to 22. You can add a blurness, blur, blurriness. Is that what it says? Blurriness? All right, whatever. You can change that to 5. I like to change it to 5. So I'm going to hit 5. And uh, there we go. We can exit out of that. And we're going to do the, pretty much the exact same thing, just with a different color. So I'm going to make this, uh, I don't know, what sounds cool to you guys? White? Yeah, white. Uh, put a color, luminance, it should already be set on white. Um, and reflection, uh, change it down to 20, like that. And uh, texture, Fresnel, 20, 20. <laughs> and then change uh, the blurry blurriness, change the blurriness to 5%. Ta-da! We have an epic... Uh, color thingy down here. Uh, now here's where you can choose what you want. You can have the blue or whatever color you had on the outside or the inside. Personally, um, it doesn't matter. Um, you can kind of swap them around, render it out, see what it looks like best to for you. Um, so that's what it looks like if I have the blue on the outside, um, just like that. And then if I have it, if I switch these around like this, it looks like this. So it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know which one I want. I kind of like this way better. Yeah, I like this one. This one's this one's hitting me up. So um, then we're gonna come up to the rendering, um, the the rendering settings. Uh, general. Make sure it's on full render output. Uh, width 1280 by 720 HD settings, obviously, and uh, good for that. For the save, um, we're gonna click the little dot dot dot. Save it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Retro. God, how many do I already have? Seven. This will be my seventh one I've made. So retro seven, and I uh, hit save, 
and then change the format. This is important if you want to edit in Photoshop or something. Change the format to PNG, the and make sure you have alpha channel selected. That'll make the background transparent. If you don't want the background transparent, you don't have to. If you have like a floor or something you guys want to add in there, it doesn't matter. Um, multi pass, don't check it. Anti, whatever. Uh, change the anti thing to best instead of geometry. And then for the options, everything should be set. Uh, we're going to come on here, down here to effect, and I like to add an ambient occlusion, not conclusion, occlusion. That'll give it a really deep shadow effect. So, um, now if we kind of zoom out, um, get it centered here, however you like it. This is my centered. Here we go. And uh, we hit the middle render button to render it out. It will start rendering, and I'll be back when this gets done so you guys can see the finished product. All right, guys, my uh, rendering just got done. And uh, as you can see here, I will open it up in full size. Um, I guess that's the size I can get it. Uh, I'll just show you the, the picture by itself when the video gets done. So, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. And uh, I hope you guys subscribe. Please subscribe and add me as a friend. And uh, send me uh, YouTube background requests. I already have a crap ton, but whatever. You know, if you can wait then you'll get one sooner or later. So guys, I'm glad you liked this video, and uh, thumbs it up, subscribe to me, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.